Bill, in your uh, touchdown the other day, on that drive, you got the ball all every play of that drive. What's the feeling like when, when you have those drives where you've gotten it five or six times and you know you're going to keep getting it? Like, it, is it exciting? Is it exhausting? What's the feeling? Everything. <laughs> Everything you just said. You know, um, obviously we train for that. We play tempo, so you obviously get tired. But you get in that mode and, you know, you, you're in the zone. You just want to keep going. So a little bit of everything. Kind of going off that, Coach Ivel touched on a little bit a minute ago, but how much do you think you've grown in that area from your freshman year to, to now being able to be a back that you guys can rely on on an entire drive? Uh, I think with any back that's coming out of high school, used to hitting all the big runs and just getting used to taking the dirty three, dirty four, you know, um, that keeps the chains moving. So I think that's what I got better in between the tackles of just, you know, not, not knowing that, understanding every play not going to be a home run. When you get in those situations, and you're, are you a guy that if it's in the red zone, you're like, I'm not tapping out? You obviously have 10 touchdowns. Oh, yeah. But is, yeah. is there like, I don't care how tired I am, I'm not coming out? Yeah, no, nah, they're they going to have to pull me out of the game. You know what I'm saying? That's a different switch. <laughs> um, earlier, Hypel said that practice was really crisp this week or earlier today. What makes a practice crisp for Hypel? Um, just locking in on the details, you know what I'm saying? You can obviously tell the type of energy we'll have from the moment we'll step out there. And, um, you know, it's never about how you start practice, but how you finish, but you never want to get behind the eight ball. So just taking from the meeting room, minimizing MAs, you know, the less whistles you hear, the less stuff we got to repeat, you know, the practice is going crisp, you know. How great has it been to see Deshaun Bishop come in after you, be making the plays, the runs, the touchdowns that he's done so far this season? Nah, just everything, you know what I'm saying, we knew that he was going to do. Um, he spent some time off from football, but, you know what I'm saying, he's so locked in with everything that he does. It don't surprise me the way he's playing out there. And you need that in a running back room. He's going to push everybody. He pushes me, you know what I'm saying, to go, my, go out there and make plays. So, you know, I can't wait to continue uh, watch him grow, and he'll help me grow over the season. How much did you appreciate the, the having the open date, maybe to get your body? I, that was probably about as physical as you've been in the Oklahoma game. You didn't get a ton of reps in fall camp. Did you feel it last week come, coming off that game? Yeah, um, you know, it was really a blessing. It wasn't that bad uh, coming out the game. It's always a blessing when you can wake up uh, Sunday morning and just walk straight into the, you know what I'm saying? You Obviously, it's normal soreness, but I felt pretty good after that game, and, and by we came at a, at a good time, so I was to get my body feeling even better. Dylan, we talked to Coach Sims a couple weeks ago, and I think he was asked about running backs maybe having a, a feel or maybe like a nose for a touch for the end zone. You got 10 touchdowns this season. Is there, are you, how aware are you as you get closer to the goal line, and does your dry, extra drive kick in even more when you're down there, and, and you know you just got a, a couple more yards to go to get there? Yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, – you get boosted once you start getting into, you know, the enemy territory and you start to get close to the red zone. I'm always trying to make them big plays, but, you know, like we talk about, it's like I really don't want to get pulled out the game. I want them to, you know, be able to hand the ball to me uh, when we get down there and just, you know, put on for my team. But, you know, it's also hard to not, uh, you know, get too out of control because you can miss reads and get out of control if you're just too worried about making a play. So. Just staying within my keys and, and, and you know, playing the same field, how I do in the open field. Just hungry to get in the end zone. All right. Thanks, Dylan. Appreciate you.